I've heard a lot about your illustrious career as a railway man, and I was wondering what the best bits for you have been. Uh, without doubt, it's the travelling. I, I, I love travelling, and travelling by train is very special. Uh, you, you, you've got time to relax, you've got time to talk and meet people, you've got time to read books, uh, to look at the scenery, to prepare for the meeting. And I, I've always enjoyed uh, rail travel. What's your favourite train journey, do you think, out of all of them? I, I think my favourite journey would be in, in Scotland, that, that's no surprise. And <laughs> I think it's for the Highlands from Perth to uh, Inverness. And if you do that in autumn, it is absolutely beautiful. You know, you've got all the colours changing. You're you're going through the the woods in the lowlands, and then you're gradually climbing up to the highest point of the railway in Great Britain. And uh, you you then come down into Inverness, and you, you really feel you've escaped from, from the world. Very beautiful experience. And you couldn't do that by car. You know, the trouble is, it's you know, your eyes are glued to the road. If you've no time to look at the scenery, it's not a comfortable journey. And the railway does go through the most beautiful part. What do you think the future is for the rail industry now? I, I think the railway industry is on a growth curve. Mm -hmm. uh, most people don't realise. In the last 10 years, uh, the railways are now carrying 40% more passengers. That's 40% more than they were carrying 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Not many industries have grown at that sort of rate. And all the predictions say it will do it again in the next 10 years. So you're looking at a growth product. The roads can't take many more cars. The car journeys are becoming very unpleasant, uh, long hold-ups, unpredictable journey times. Uh, training, if we get our act together on the railways, can give you a very pleasant experience. You can work, read, talk, eat, uh, look at the scenery, uh, and arrive uh, refreshed. And I think it's up to us Roman to give you that experience. Okay. And how, what do you mean by if we get our act together? It, it, Row is a very complicated product to run, so we're, we're, we've got to produce something that's affordable and yet is very high quality and it's frequent and it's fast and it's clean. And we've probably never been better, but there's still a long way to go. And what do you think the long way to go involves? I think somehow we've got to find ways of getting our costs down. If, if rowers are still very expensive to uh, make and maintain uh, and staff, and we pass those costs on to passengers. Somehow we've got to find a way of making railways uh, much cheaper, both for us and for you. Do you have the answer? <laughs> yeah, I think it's coming. Yes, yeah, so there's a tremendous will to find it now. Okay. And there's nothing like a recession to make you ingenious. Well, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you very much for talking to me. And happy travelling. Thank you very much.